All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> at this point, we're going to section three of three, ellipses. Ellipses, from a certain point of view, are effectively circles that have gotten stretched. Okay. So for this first one, I'm looking at item number 13. You can run the math in, in class, but it is approximately four inches in diameter from on the short dimensions and 10 inches in diameter across the wide dimension. So we can start using that and start with a circle that is the smaller of the two dimensions. So half of two, half of four inches, we got two because we're looking, working with radians, two inch. Okay, there's our two inch. Now, from there, I'm going to use my select tool, select the whole thing, and then start stretching. Now, I cannot get it to give me an exact dimension, but what I can do, what it does give me, is a scale. Okay, so If I select that scale as three, three times, that actually gets me pretty close to my four by ten. Okay, that's a proportional stretch. It's not perfect. Okay, But it does allow us to start getting some of these things in line. If we need more accuracy, we have to do a little bit more setup. Well, first setup, we know that our dimension from top to bottom is four inches, so we can use a line four inches. Okay, now from here, we're going to start making another line. This other line, I'm going to go here to this direction, ten inches. There we are. Now I'm going to take this line. and I'm going to move it to the midpoint here. There we go. Now I've got this whole object, and I've got what amounts to an internal frame to play with with this object. Okay? And I can start using this to make my ellipse accurate. So I'm going to again go my midpoint here, start drawing my radius. I'm going to tell it that I want a 2 inch radius because it's 4 inches total. Hit enter. There we go. It's happy with that. Now I'm still going to be going back and select, doing a select tool on that circle and then stretching it, but this time I'm going to do a modification to that to get it more accurate. So here's the accuracy. I'm going to use the center one again and I'm going to hold control. You see how it switches to the middle? That means it's going to stretch both sides at the same time. I'm now going to click to hold and I'm going to drag it out to the end of that. You saw how it kind of jumped a little bit? That's that stickiness going to that exact dimension. Now I have it dimensionally accurate, okay? which can be a big deal. Speaking of dimensionings, okay, with this one, this is where it kind of this, we're going to have some difficulties. You can hover on the side like an arc, find our center point, and you can pull the radiuses pretty simple. inch. Again, going here, finding my center, coming out. Okay. You see this one is not quite what we need. It's actually given us a bit of trouble here trying to get it to that six. Okay. So dimensionally not quite all there. One more shot. There it goes. And my last thing, move it in to where it's on that center line. Good. Okay. Now, over here, because we have these guidelines, that dimensioning actually is going to give, we're going to have several options. First off, we can do a diameter call out. We can do that, that radius call out as well. 
and our, and you'll see here, our dimensional accuracy is spot on. So that's your ellipses. Only thing left over here is to kill off our guidelines. Here, 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 and here. And kind of just center this back up a bit. There we go. Here we have our two ellipses. One had some inaccuracies. However, here is our high accuracies if we are to use them.